Good afternoon guys, hope you're well. Good Welcome back. Same process as ever, nothing's changed. We've got microphones on either side. We'll come to as many as you can before the embargo. Obviously we have a Sunday's embargo that we'll call for Saturday at 10.30. Can you start with Simon, please? Um, hi Pep, uh, I hope you had a good summer and a good trip to the Far East. Um, having won the treble, it can't seem like that long ago, you have an immediate chance to win another trophy. Does this game actually matter to you? And good morning to everyone. Hope you had a good summer as well. Did you have holidays or not yet? <coughs> small ones. Small ones. So normally when you won the titles that we won, they give you the chance to, to fight for a new one, especially this community shield, the last three years we played. But against Sevilla and in next weeks and, and uh, in Saudi Arabia in the winter time, so give you opportunity to play it once we are there. Of course we're going to try. I don't know how we are right now, the situation that we are. So we finish two weeks later than Arsenal. We start two weeks later than Arsenal. So we are not in the best, best way. Always we, we struggle to restart every season. But it's a final and hopefully our mentality can help us to be there and, and compete like we have to compete against them and try to, yeah, to win the title. You talk about mentality. After you've achieved something as historic as you achieved last season, what are you looking for in the players to make sure they they still have that edge to go again this year? I would say that I don't know. I would say we are going to see, but at the same time, every preseason, always when we won the quadruple or we won the Premier League in a row, two, three times, always we think, ah, the players will be dropped, the players will not be ready. And the players were ready, and everyone was ready. Uh, I think will be highs and lows, I think. My feeling for experience in the first part of the season, have to try to avoid to drop too much. To don't let the opponents, especially in the Premier League on the first stages in the Champions League, you know, run away. Uh, but uh, in terms of, I know except Mateo that arrived the the other people, I know them quite well, and I know, I know they are incredible competitors, and we will push each other, we will challenge each other, and I'm, I'm sure that we will be there. Can I just ask you about? The situation with Guardiola and also Kyle Walker and Bernardo Silva that there's been a lot of talk about those two maybe leaving hmm. the Well, regarding uh, Guardiola, what a beautiful surname he has um, regarding him uh, he's a, doing a medical test so everybody knows uh, he's here and hopefully we can finish the deal in the next hours, next days and uh, and regarding uh, Kyle and, and Bernardo, what could I say? So they are so important player for us. We want him yes, yes or yes. We are going to do everything to. Of course, he are, is not like Gundo, like finish the contract. He has contract, so. But we want him to stay because he want to stay, uh, and yeah. We will do everything because replace these two players uh, is so so difficult. We lost two incredible players for us, like Ilkay and Riyad. Like in the last seasons were massively important, incredible goals, assists, and personalities in the big stages and big important games. And lose Kyle and Bernardo will be so difficult, and that's why we are going to 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 do everything, to, you know, to 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 keep them and because they want you know because they won't really 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 be here Hi Pat welcome back um, from your perspective Vardiol what will he bring to, to Manchester City let me it's medical test so let's finish when it's done I will give my opinion um, are you done if, if Vardiol comes in are you done in the transfer Transfer market? Is that City's business done? Or is that uh, I don't know. I think it's going to move something. Yeah. It's not yet. Uh, if the season started today, I mean, it starts on Sunday really for City, are they ready? Are they ready to go? Are you happy with everything? I'm happy for everything, yeah, definitely. 
But uh, what I said before, still we need, like I think all the teams, not just Man City. But the, the reality in this period, one week of work helps a lot, but we cannot forget it's 11 months. So start to don't get injured and at training sessions day by day, weeks by weeks, and game by games, the players will, will get the, what we need. Um, um, can I pick up on Guardiola coming in? Because assuming the medical goes well on his side. Assuming. Assuming. Yeah, w wait, I'll go yeah. Guardiola and I promise you. So, but not now because I'm not allowed to do it for the club. So, My point that's the point. Though, assuming he comes in, that will give you six central defenders. The season, the season is so long, so yeah, there's that, many, many games. That's not too many to have. No, pieces, absolutely not. And picking up on what Simon was asking about Bernardo Silva as well, because it feels like it's been a lot of summers. I think it's three in a row now where we've had to talk about his future, is there reported interest. Do you, do you, as with other players, have a gentleman's agreement with him that if an offer comes in that matches your valuation? For the day one... Yeah. Yeah, for, I want to clarify that because I know the reports from Barcelona make my word what I said. I said for the day one until the end, I don't want any player that I want to be here. So, but but uh, I am an employee. This is my opinion. I want to work with the guys like when I stay or my decisions. I want to work with the staff or backroom staff or the players. But after that, we had to get an offer. And we didn't get an offer, a proper offer. I would say I didn't get an offer. So that's why... What could I say? Is our play, we want him. And if they want it, they will take a plane, they will come here, they will talk with our sport director, with CEO, to arrive in agreement because both parts or three parts, they have to be, even not for the wish, I give the word, it's over. So when we want to go everywhere to buy a player, just for B Man City, it's 10, 15 million pounds more expensive than the other clubs. All the time it's like that. So. And the same guys, when they want to play as important players for them, but they are really, really important players, first they have to, you know, to make an offer. And it didn't happen. And when that happened, it's going to stay, and we fight to extend the contract to be to be with us. It's simple as that. All, all the players happen since they won. Is that what it takes, then? Because you speak about, when you're answering Simon earlier, talking about trying to convince these players to stay. They have to want to stay, and you will do everything you can to yeah. help you know, make them make a decision. What, what can you do? What is it? Is no, it's, it's, it's many cases. So we cannot forget the situation are completely different each each year for the different one. When you want the travel, it looks like the job is done. And the players, most of the players with 32, 33 years old, like Ilka, El Riyad said, you know, we arrive here to win the Premier League and after all the people asking about the Champions League, will not be complete. It's, we don't win the Champions League and all, uh, some players feel, okay, I want a new experience. I, I will not be the guy to say no, no, no for the country. But in the same case, you have to be taking agreement with the important part of the club. And the club is not me. It's the business, the, you know, make a deal uh, happen. And and in the cases, so, of course, in that case of Bernardo Cal, we talked many, many, many times the last month, even years, that how important it is for them for us how we want him yes or yes, and we continue to do it until the end, you know, until the end. What's going to happen? So I don't know, but it's not going to happen if the both clubs don't arrive because they are a massive, massive important players because when we lost this type of players, we have to go to the market to buy the replacement. And with this type of player, it doesn't cost 10 million, 20, 30, 40, 50. <laughs> no, it's more expensive than that. And, you know, we need that money as a club to reimburse for another players to make the team as much stronger as possible, to defend the crowns that we want and, and be, you know, play good, win a lot of games for our people. It's simple. It's not, I would say, more complicated to understand it. Okay. Um, Arsenal have signed uh, Declan Rice this summer, obviously, for a huge sum of money. He was a player that you were perhaps interested in, the reports that you were interested in him now. How disappointing were you to miss out on it? Absolutely not. Declan Rice decided to go to Arsenal. The offer was incredible and all the best because I think he's an important, really important player. I think he's a very nice guy and for the national team, England national team, is and will be important and Arsenal bought an incredible, incredible player. 
just one more. Um, it's been announced today. You've got the former assistant coming back, Juan Mar. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, good news for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Juan is the best assistant coach you can have in the bad moments. And you have to find the people close to you in the bad moments. In the good ones, I don't need anyone. Just open the champagne to celebrate together. But in the bad moments, you have to have in Juama, beyond his knowledge about football, and there is specially identified uh, what happens, specific football players, is in a massive, massive uh, human being. So I, I think all of us, personally, I mean, really happy. Uh, he came with uh, his right hand in you. But uh, all the people, the staff, backroom staff, players, were delighted to, to see him back. So go for it. Um, hi, Beth. Um, what have you made of, of Arsenal's summer transfer business in, in general? <coughs> Price, Timber, and how are they players? Do you think that will take them to the next level possibly? Yeah, definitely. They didn't buy players to make the squad bigger. They buy start 11 players. So, yeah, really good, all of them. Really good. I, I could not expect differently. Newcastle had done it. Um, Liverpool will be less, but I think with Henderson and Fabinho gone, I think it's going to do, they're going to do the market again and United do it again. So, it's normal. So, every season, every season the, the teams, the teams want to do the team better, not just, not just Man City. You said in the past before the season start because you've got history that it's always Liverpool that viewed as the main challenges. Do you think Arsenal maybe have replaced Liverpool now as your, as your main challenges to attack? Arsenal with uh, Arsene Wenger installed the club in that position that I, I'm very happy that uh, he got the statue of the place in an Emirates Stadium what Arsene Wenger deserved because a part of the title that was more or less, it doesn't matter, is how he changed many things in the English football, I would say. The influence of Arsene Wenger in this football was massive. One of the greatest, maybe the greatest, in the terms from come from aboard and bring something new that maybe was not here and install a culture that uh, that he was. Maybe the last year drop and Mikel bring him again in the position Arsenal was all the time. So everybody knows that... Uh, if you start every season, I say the same, but that is my feeling. So it's not a one or two. There are a lot, a lot of teams. They are going to 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 fight for everything, and and the challenge is massive for us. So how we be able mentally and how we can grow as a team in the football wise and sustain that level. So it's almost impossible. You cannot win more that we want. But the challenge is that how starving still we are, how hungry still we we are, how have desire still to defend what we want, and and yeah, we will see. We will see during the process, the eleven month, in the lower moments that we'll have a many of them. I we think more than ever for the fact we want how we overcome and come back in what they have to be. Okay, call the embargo for ten thirty on Saturday.